Hello everyone, welcome to Amrita Academy. Today I'm back with another video. I'm continuing the series, Madam Curie Part 2. So in this video, we're going to discuss about her life, achievements and discovery. Um, not in detail about her achievements, but about her professional career. Let's start. So before going into the discoveries and professional career of Marie Curie, let's first discuss about the um, 1895 to 1898. These are the great years of discoveries of science. So let's discuss about these years. So at first, uh, Wilhelm Röntgen uh, discovered X-rays and amazed the scientific world and so born the atomic age. So first, he, how he started the experiment is he took a pear-shaped cathode ray tube and he partially connected it to the circuit and he uh, shielded it, I mean he surrounded it with the black cardboard and, and he also uh, passed the high tension discharge across it and um, make the total room dark. So he turned off all the lights and what he wanted to see is the how did the black cardboard shield the tube or not. But what he expected and what he saw was totally unexpected and was totally different. What he saw was a small card connected with barium platinoside luminescing. In spite of the fact the black cardboard shielded the tube. He turned the light uh, tube off and it stopped glowing and when it, it uh, when he turned it on again It again started glowing. So after a month after the, this discovery he gave a lecture and um, many of the them came listened and understood this and soon the and they were able to find in the history like the world wide everyone gave him an applause and uh, and also there were many 50 books and more than thousand of articles on his discovery and no, um, nowhere in the uh, history this happened but the doctors were able to find where the bullets uh, were there in a body so like we see in films like uh, people uh, doctors take bullets and keep, keep them aside. So we don't even think of how did they do this and all, but we only think of the movie. So this is what is behind it. And his discovery was able to do it. And after this, many continued this uh, X-rays discovery and all. So many of the scientists approached his interview and him. And one of these is the Henry Bakrell, the French man. And his idea was about the uranium salts. And after he conducted the, uh, the experiment and all, and he was able to propose the idea of the discovery of radioactivity. But it was not that enthusiasm to all the scientists who approached uh, the interview after he tried to discover and and it was not so clear uh, wh what his experiment was so Marie Curie's job was to find the phenomena of this and discover the new radioactive elements so she starts her everything and she uh, conducts all her experiments and uh, ideas in Piri's lab and Piri was almost uh, in his school, working in a school for many years, like 10 to 15 years. And um, the, uh, the director of the lab, the Zoots Burger, mostly known as Papa Zoots, helped the Piri Curie and Mary Curie in countless ways. And um, she also begged, Mary Curie also begged many laboratories for the elements and she used to measure with the piezometer how much the electroradioactivity and 
electro uh, radioactivity all the elements have and in meanwhile of all these they have their first daughter Irene in the year uh, 1897 and Irene after becoming big she used to follow her mother footsteps from the beginning and she with her husband also got the Nobel Prize uh, for discovering the artificial radioactivity in uh, 1935 after so long after they become big so as we already discussed she collected from various laboratories all the elements she put up all of them to test and she concluded that pitch blend and charcoalite are the two elements in which radioactivity is more and those are the ores from where the charcoalite is exited and when she put the pitch blend to test she found that it's four times uh, it has more radioactivity than the uranium itself and the, the pitch blend consists of 30 elements together and pitch blend is the most very reactive uh, radioactive element which has much radioactive source they thought initially the Marie Curie and Piri Curie thought it would be like one person the radioactivity source but after testing so much they came to a conclusion that it's less than 10 lakh of one person so it's that less but very reactive and has very reactivity on the very much radioactive source in just that one lakh of one person and that's how the uh, pitch blend is and the, when the Dermakai uh, uh, said that the radium's atomic value is atomic number is 225.93 uh, the Mary Curie uh, after testing she concluded that the radium's atomic uh, weight is 226 you might think that it's just a difference of 0.07% and what does it even matter? But it does matter when coming to uh, atomic value of an atom or it's very crucial even that 0.07 is also crucial coming to because, because atoms, elements will go into the chemical reactions and all. So it's even important uh, to have the accurate values of each and every element so in fact piri curie was the first one to hypothesize the radium's value in the treatment of cancer and he also tried it on himself the the whatever experiment he did he tried it on himself so that's a very bold thing you may think like why am i even saying about piri curie in the life and achievements of piri curie but though it's all about piri curie uh, the Piri Curie played a major role in Piri, uh, Marie Curie's uh, all of her radioactivity experiments and all. He played a crucial role. So we also talk about Piri Curie because he's also a scientist who supported being a scientist. He also supported Marie Curie. So we talk about him. And um, yeah. So they get the Nobel Prize, the uh, Henry Becquerel the Piri and Mary Curie get the Nobel Prize for their research in radioactivity in 1903 and uh, they have their second daughter Eve and now comes a very sad year again Piri Curie's death and it's a very uh, sad moment for Mary Curie and she said she was now deprived of her best friend scientific colleague and her loving husband and she went to a deep sorrow and she now only has her sister Bronia to discuss say her pains and all and she was asked to write her uh, to write the Piri Curie's uh, biography Mary Curie wrote Piri Curie's biography and later on she meets uh, Einstein and uh, recreating uh, the research of Mary Curie by Debus Harm, Debus Harm, and uh, 
also the Calvin and British against these queries and later after meeting all the great scientists after her great journey Marie Curie passed away on 4th July 1934 so that's a very beautiful journey and such a beautiful and such a great research on radioactivity such a great concept it and all of that it feels very interesting so yeah hope you all found this interesting informative and helpful and knew something about this great scientist see you guys in my next video until then keep smiling take care do you like share and subscribe to amrita academy and click the bell icon for upcoming updates of every videos bye